Can't just catch a rocket? He caught a rocket. <laughs> What's up guys? Today I'm checking out the brand new Blitzwolf BW VP15. So this is a new native full HD video projector priced around 200 US dollars or 171 pounds if you're in the UK. So an affordable home cinema, big screen, movie slash gaming projector. This is my full test and review of this product. So quickly run through the specs. This is an LED video projector. Lamp life is 50,000 hours. Brightness is 7,000 lumens. Native resolution 1920 by 1080. We have a contrast ratio of 5,000 to one. The projector is zoomable from 100% down to 75%. Now this does support Wi-Fi casting for both Android and iOS. You've got built-in Bluetooth. You've got manual keystone and focus adjustments. Maximum optimal screen size is 200 inches. And we do have HDMI inputs for your game consoles, your TV boxes, etc. And we've got stereo speakers. Inside the box, you will find user manual, a lens cleaning cloth. We've got a bag of four screws, no idea what it's for, but we'll find out later on in the video. We've got a 3.5 millimeter to RCA cable, and that's for your old school connections. So VCR, old camcorders, Nintendo Wii, or even PlayStation 2. You're also getting an HDMI cable and a small remote control, which is powered by two AAA batteries, and it looks like a regular TV box remote. Last but not least, the projector itself. So this is a full-size projector finished in white, Blitzwolf logo on the front, along with your lens cap. And if I just remove that lens cap, you, you can then see your lens. On the top of the projector, you've got focus adjustment and keystone correction dials, and you've got some touch controls for power and navigational. On the side, we've got some ventilation. On the back, we've got power socket, VGA port. We've got two full-size HDMI ports. So that will let you hook up your favorite game console, your Android TV box, or even the Amazon Fire TV sticks. And you can enjoy any of those on a massive 200 inch projection display. We've got two full-size USB ports for multimedia playback. We've got an AV port, headphone jack, and an infrared for your remote control. If we keep going, We've got some vents on the side and that will bring you back to the front of the projector. Now, unless I missed it, I've only seen one infrared on the back of the projector. There's no infrared on the front. So I'm quite interested to test this out to see how responsive the remote actually is. And at the bottom of the projector, we do have some sticky feet. And if I remove one of them, you can see we've got tripod threads. So four tripod threads. So you can hook this up to a universal ceiling mount should you wish to do so. If you're gonna use this on a desktop, there is a button here, which you press, and that will give you some elevation. So that is the maximum elevation you can get if you were to use this on a desk. So without any further ado, I'm gonna get this all set up and we're gonna find out how good the BW VP15 actually is. I'll be right back. All right, so I've got the projector all set up and the first thing we need to do is test out that fan noise. So standing right next to the projector, you can expect a fan noise of around 47 to 48 decibel. And if we move a meter away, you can see the fan noise has now dropped down to around 43 decibels. All right, so the projector is situated three meters away from the wall in front of us. And we are projecting just under 100 inches. The projection is actually being done directly on a cream colored wallpaper. So here is your home screen. This is the first thing you see when you switch on the projector. You've basically got inputs. So you've got your HDMI, cast screen, USB, AV, VGA, and settings. So quickly go to settings first of all. You can see our picture settings. So the options you have are picture mode, standard, soft, user, so you can customize to your own preference, and vivid. So it looks like standard looks the best. What you're seeing in the background is actually my PS4 connected via HDMI, um, but we'll come back to that in a bit. Let's go back. So you've got your picture mode, you've got your color temperature, aspect ratio, noise reduction. You've got projection mode, so you can have the projector front, ceiling, front ceiling, and rear ceiling, and then back to the normal front view. So depending on how you mount your projector, so if you ceiling mount it, that's when you need to change the projection mode. The display can be reduced. Right now we are at 100%, but you can actually shrink the screen all the way down 
to 50%. So if your wall is not big enough, you can adjust it to fit your wall, which is quite good. But from a three meter distance, you can expect around 100 inches. So next we have our sound settings. Again, you've got some presets, standard, music, movie, sports, user, and back to standard, which we're gonna leave on. So under sound, we also have balance. Surround sound is off, you can switch it on. You can switch on SRS, True Surround XT, or you can have regular surround. Then you've got your Bluetooth settings, so you can switch Bluetooth on or off. Then you've got your timer options, your languages, factory reset, and software updates. Now, before we proceed, I wanna talk about the remote control. The remote is actually not as responsive as I would have liked. You can't use it as normal. You have to point it towards the projector and then it will work, as you can see. So if you point it forward, the infrared, it just doesn't reach the projector. You have to do this. So a bit of a shame with the remote control, uh, but let's keep going. All right, so next up, I wanna test out the cast feature. So this projector should support Android screen mirroring. It says Android mirror cast on the top. And for iPhone, it does wired projection. So I'm gonna test Android Miracast. I've got my Galaxy S22 Ultra here. So any second now, we should see the phone screen mirrored to the projector, okay? And it actually works with minimal lag. That is actually quite fast. Wow. Yeah, impressed with the Android screen mirroring. It works great. I'm gonna try and switch to DeX now and see if that works. You can see the full Samsung screen there and my phone becomes a touchpad. So Android screen mirroring working absolutely fine. Next thing we're gonna test is the iPhone screen mirroring. Okay, so the cable's plugged in. I'll quickly show you that so you can see there is a cable plugged in and that's gone in at the back of the projector. Okay, so it's asking me to trust this computer, so yes. Okay, so I've trusted it now. Oh wow, instant. So as you guys saw, I didn't have to do much, just plug in the cable and hit trust. And you can see the screen mirroring is working fine. Wow, again, super fast screen mirroring. I can't fault it. So Android and iOS screen mirroring working as it should. And if I disconnect the cable, that should disconnect the connection. So there you go. Both working absolutely fine. All right, so now it's time to switch to the HDMI 2 port. And that is actually our PS5, which I've just connected. At the bottom, you can see it says 1080p at 60 Hertz. So this is a 1080p projector and it does not upscale to 4K. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is play back a few movie trailers from YouTube. So here we go. I just paused it on the lizard as I usually do. The picture, color and contrast look pretty good to me. If we zoom in on the lizard, you can see no pixelation up close. So overall decent projection quality and you can also fine tune things from settings and all four corners are looking sharp and clear. Okay, so now I'm gonna briefly switch on the light and see how this projector looks in the daytime. And to my surprise, you can see everything clearly even in the daytime. So yeah, you could watch a movie or play a game and this is completely visible in the daytime. But if you really wanna make the most out of your projector, you really wanna use it in the dark. We used to be friends, why are you doing this, please? I would have never left that square. <laughs> So, why didn't you answer me? I do answer you. The look in his eye is disturbing. She wants to turn us against one another. Last night, you made the unfortunate mistake of breaking into my ancestral home. Don't worry. All right, so that was a whole bunch of YouTube trailers. Now we're going to jump into some gaming. Coming up next it is a welterweight showdown between the Nigerian nightmare Kamaru Usman and Leon Edwards.
tools and their methods, but it's now down to the player. Well, he's tried to be clever, but he just didn't get enough on it. That's a comfortable save. And it's teed up for Ronaldo. A goal! 1-0! A fully deserved advantage based on what we've seen. So there you have it guys, that was the new BW VP15 by Blitzwolf. Now I'm going to mention the caveat straight away. The projector struggles with dark scenes mainly when watching movies. Now playing games with game consoles wasn't so much of an issue, it's only when watching movies the dark scenes look much darker um, and you can't really do anything to make it brighter because the settings don't make a difference. Furthermore, remote control not responsive due to the lack of front IR sensor on the projector. Speaker quality not great. I found that in some movies it was lacking volume and then play some PS5 or PS4 games and the volume is very loud but also distorted as well on the maximum volume. So overall it's lacking sound quality so you might want to connect your own sound system to enhance your experience. Fan noise is also quite loud on this projector as we tested earlier in the video. And to sum this one up, here is my latest video projector chart for 2022, allowing you to compare the specs and prices of all the latest projectors. And these are all ranked by projection quality and overall features. And based on that, you can see this projector has been ranked at position 23 on this chart. Now you can check out my latest charts free of charge at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. Bottom line, this is an affordable projector offering a decent enough experience for the price if you can look past those caveats I just mentioned. And with that being said, any questions feel free to fire them at me in the comments. Meanwhile, a lot more projector videos are coming your way, so make sure you do sub to the channel if this is what you're into. That being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.